Hello, boys of class 7. Welcome you on another online class of agriculture. Last day we have finished up to jackfruit tree significance. Today we will start the cultivation process of jackfruit. So let us start today's session. Jackfruit is a popular fruit tree in Bangladesh. There are orchards where jackfruit tree are cultivated for commercially and personally many people cultivated it in their houses. There are few steps of cultivation jackfruit. Accordingly, they are discussed below. That means we are discussing the cultivation process by step by step. So at first, selection and preparation of land. We should keep in mind that jackfruit tree need high land where water can stay as we know that the jackfruit tree cannot tolerate uh, water stagnant that is why we have to select high land that means flood free land so all types of flood free soil is good for jackfruit cultivation besides silt loam or bit red soil of highland is better for cultivating jackfruit earlier in last class we have discussed that jackfruit is growing oil in Red, in a red highland soil that is in uh, all areas it is available so that is good for jackfruit cultivation by plowing and harrowing for several times land should be prepared the size of peat should be 1 meter into 1 meter into 1 meter that means the length of peat 1 meter breadth of peat 1 meter and depth of peat should be 1 meter and distance from one peat to another peat should be 10 meter Peat should be prepared one month before planting saplings. That means we have to make the peat as we want to plant saplings. So it should be prepared one month earlier before saplings, the planting the saplings. While digging soil for making peat, upper and lower part soil should be kept apart or separate. Then upper part soil should be put inside into the pit and the lo lower part soil should be mixed with manure and then filled the pit 20 kg decomposed cow dung manure 400 gram bone powder or 150 gram TSP 2 kg ash or 150 gram muriate potash should mix with the soil to make the pit that means the upper part so the lower part soil should be mixed with this menu and then fill up the pit and that is the preparation for soil now let us go for the next step and that is plantation and post plantation nursing that is after plantation and while plantation what we have to do after reproduce from seed or through grafting method seedling are planted as we know that jackfruit can be reproduced from seeds and by grafting method so in any method when saplings are or seedlings are growing that seedling should be planted bengali sabon and bhadraman are suitable time for planting jackfruit seedlings after planting seedling bottom cell should be hidden that means after the soil should be Heaved means it should be make loosened. Sorry, bottom soil should be uh, heaved. Uh, that means it should be uh, keep tight in the uh, when it is planted. Irrigation should be done in case of drought. That means uh, we know that uh, jackfruit plant cannot tolerate water stagnant but if there is drought then we have to irrigate as much as it need that means up for requ required amount water we should irrigate soil at the bottom should be loosened by pricking regularly that means after sometimes when the plant is grow long and that time it should be soil should be loosened regularly now let us look what amount of fertilizer should give to the jackfruit tree fertilizer should be used for jackfruit tree throughout the year that means not only only one year we are growing this jackfruit tree 
it should be for a long time so when the jackfruit tree is 2 to 5 year old then 30 kg decomposed cow dung 800 gram urea 150 gram TSP that means triple superphosphate 100 gram muriate potash should be given but the amount of fertilizer should be increased when the tree bears fruit when there is fruit crowns in the tree we should apply more fertilizer than earlier if any tree bears fruit 50 kg decomposed cow dung 800 gram urea 500 gram TSP 800 gram muriate potash should be applied to the tree so that is the tree requirements for fertilizer now let us look how we fruit collection should be done on basis of variety a jackfruit tree bears flowers and fruits within the months of December to March that means from December to month it contain it uh, bears flowers and then fruits and it takes three months after bears the fruit to mature when jackfruit becomes mature thorns become blunt and juice of leaf stalk becomes thin besides blurring sound is produced if it is striking that means when the fruit is mature enough if we strike the fruit with our hand then it should make some blurring sound so then we can put off the fruit from the tree and it is ready to eat or sell whatever we want so that is all about jackfruit tree boys next day we will start another topic this is lesson two that is forage down tree mahogany i will suggest you to read the topics then i will make this lesson for you and that will be helpful for you okay boys so go through the lessons if you have any problem then let me know okay boys so bye for today